We're going to get you the national update when it comes to Canadian tornadoes. How many have we seen and what does the rest of the summer hold? Some of the images out of Alberta were absolutely mesmerizing. They were stunning this week. Could Alberta be a tornado hotspot for the rest of the summer? We're going to answer some of those questions over the next four minutes. Meteorologist Kevin McKay joins us. And Kevin, let's talk about the tornado count now national across Canada because those numbers are really up. Yeah, Edmonton making up for a little bit of a slow start to the season. But look at that. They're only a few back of their annual average in July is when things really get going. And yeah, we're, uh, we're almost certainly going to be passing that 15 average. Now, two in Ontario, those were just confirmed this week. We had a really slow start to active weather, severe season across Ontario, but it was an interesting setup in terms of what actually sparked the rotation this week in the south. Yeah, it certainly wasn't a dominant tornado setup. We weren't anticipating it, but this upper low that was sitting over the Great Lakes uh, for the last week, spawning those convective afternoon storms and they interacted with the lake breezes from Lake Huron and Lake Erie just enough to get them to briefly spin. And I want to show you some of the images here. Our viewers capturing some of the rotation in the sky. A mesmerizing scene. Those two confirmed tornadoes in Talbotville, Ontario, and this one here in Beachville, Ontario. And again, that lake breeze acting as that trigger in order to get some rotation. Now, speaking of rotation, wow, it was a tornado outbreak in Alberta this week. Ten confirmed tornadoes, all rated EF0. And the structure of these tornadoes and the look of the funnel. It's different. It's interesting. It's called a land spout. And Kevin, let's fill in the audience on what is a land spout tornado. So land spout is just uh, the tornado actually forms from the surface up. So the rotation starts at the ground and then it goes into the storm. The storm itself isn't rotating. So it's not like those supercells that we talk about uh, a lot of the time, especially in the prairies. Now, it's really interesting. A lot of the land spout tornadoes are weaker, but in my opinion, some of the images out of these tornadoes, they just look so big and grand and majestic. Would you say they are the most picturesque kind of tornado? I think hands down they are, especially at this time of year when many of the fields still aren't covered with the crops, so a lot of dust to be fueling them, and there's no rain making them a little blurry. You don't have any yeah. rain-wrapped tornadoes. I think of it a lot like when you watch those videos of them testing aerodynamics <laughs> of cars, and they put that little pink smoke in there, and it yes. shows that stream. It really highlights where it's all going. It is amazing. Now, here is a recap of all the tornadoes that were tracked on Wednesday across Alberta. It was a remarkable scene. So, Kevin, is this a sign of things to come as we go throughout the rest of this summer? It's hard to pinpoint a long range uh, scale for a short uh, range event like a tornado mm -hmm. that happens on a small scale. But the two areas that I'm really focusing on is with the high pressure that's going to be dominating in the west, we're going to be looking at more of that uh, development along the foothills. And if we can get all that heat in Alberta, that'll be one pinpoint. Um, but also those cold fronts that are going to come across the Great Lakes from all that heat in the prairies. We might be looking at some strong cold front storms, some squall lines going into southern Ontario and Quebec. So that'll be the other place to look. All right, Kevin, thanks so much for sharing your knowledge with us. And remember, on average, Canada usually sees about 61 tornadoes per season. And just as we wrap things up, I want to show you this shot again. The land spout tornado, just a majestic and incredible scene. And we captured 10 of them this week across Alberta.